Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. In today's video, we're going to have a look at rulers and guidelines and how you can use those to make sure you're aligning your elements and your text correctly. And we'll also look at some aligning of text options. So let's dive into Canva and get on with today's tutorial. For those of you that are new here, my name's Darren. I'm a Canva certified creative and also a Canva creator. So let's dive into Canva and have a look at how we can align these things correctly. So here we are in Canva and this is just a normal kind of blank Facebook post that I've created and you might want to come in and you might want to put in some elements these are some recently designed elements that I randomly found if we go through to the uh, featured elements you can often kind of just pick on one and then it comes back with some magic recommendations little side tip there for you but let's say we want to align these and we can see there that the, the, the purple lines come on. It's either a dotted or a dashed one. Um, and that's a great way to make sure that they're aligned correctly. Now, that's not always the case. Sometimes when you've got a slightly more complicated design, you might need some other guidance on there. And especially kind of when it comes to aligning photographs you might want to you have you i don't know if you've ever heard of the third the, the rule of thirds <laughs> the third rule <laughs> it's not the third rule it's the rule of thirds um which is where you just take your design and you cut it into three uh, width ways and three down ways so the easiest way that i found in order to do that is if we come back into canva if i put on a square here and if I take that square and I can just hold down the alt key and drag it across to create a copy and again to create another copy now if I just change the color of this middle text box to see you'll see there you go and now we've got three across but if you click on view and show rulers and click on view and show guides you can get, hover over the ruler on the side and you'll see that the icon changes. If you click and hold, that will allow you to then drag that across like that. And then same for going down. You see it's the Facebook post is slightly different. Down and what have you. So you then have to resize your image or your square boxes to be three down. And then you just, again, just drag from the top down to the bottom and then I can just highlight and get rid of those. There you go. That's how you can create a simple grid. So now if I bring in a grid and I go to photos, see if I bring this photograph in. You see, it's not, it doesn't comply with the rule of thirds, so to speak. So if you double click on the image, you can see if I want to put this lady's head kind of in the third plane here, it just gives that better look and feel of the image. And then you can just, you can resize it as, as you need to and realign it as you need to. It just gives the image that little better feel. That's Now that's doing it for photography on that side of things. But it also applies to when you're creating designs. Okay, so if I just drag this other design in that I've got here. This is one that I've created on Canva um, and is available for you to use. I'll put a link down below to my profile on Canva. So you can use any of the templates that I've created um, if you've got a pro account, you can use them free of charge. You will need to sign up for a pro account. If you don't have a pro account, I'll also put a link down there for a 45 day free trial. And it's 45 days if you use that link. The normal trial for Canva is 30 days. So do click on that link and sign up for a 45 day free trial of Canva. In this one, you can see I've got the text here. And if I click on view and view guides, you can see I've, I've only used one line here so when I've designed it I've kind of put the element behind here and the elements in here and what I've done is I've aligned the text 
to the right on this image to align it up with that. And that what that means is that rather than the text just kind of hopefully being aligned there, I can see that it kind of it snaps. You can see that there. You see it snaps there because that's where the text box is. That snap into the kind of the middle, and it's not quite aligned up here on the right hand side so if we just drag that over to the right hand side you can see there that that then aligns up correctly Oop. it was doing anyway <laughs> there you go so that's lining up correctly it's probably easier if i take this bigger one and use that and if I come in from the end there a little bit, it'll stop snapping to the middle. Because that's the thing with when you're aligning things in Canva, it will try and snap to line up automatically. And you'll see these purple lines come up. Um, so you can align things up and down and left and right. And as I say, once you've got the view, the show the guidelines on there, I can show rulers as well then it just helps you line things up. Now, when you first create a text box, the alignment's normally center aligned. But if you come up to the top here, you can see this alignment option here, and it cycles through the options. So whether it's left justified, right justified, or um, aligns up central. And that's all I'm doing here is some aligning the text to the right and that just makes this image look a lot better in my opinion now this got me thinking and a lot of people that I see on design forums and in their camera group want to know how to create an Instagram puzzle now this isn't a full tutorial on how to create an Instagram puzzle but what you will want to do is if you look, think about it, your grid is three wide, so that'll be 1080 times three. And if you depend on how deep you want it, I've gone for five deep, so 1080 times five is 5,400. Let me just drag this other image design in. And there you go, see? So that's your blank grid. And you'll be thinking, well, that's great, but how do I align things? And it's just simple. Just come in, put your rulers on, show your guidelines go to elements choose the square and just resize that hold down the oops hold down the alt key and drag across you can also you know command c command v um, or control c control v on a windows machine and then you can just drag that across and then align that like that and then you want it to be five deep Oops. so again that then allows you to come in if I just change those to a slightly different color you can see what I'm doing also allows me to be able to, by changing the color of those it allows me to see that I'm actually changing or snapping to the right area and then all you do is you can highlight that and delete that and then go wild this is only at 13 percent if i choose to go to 50 percent it won't quite fit on there but 25 percent goes on there and then you can start creating your your grid and that's how you can get started with designing your Instagram post or your Instagram puzzle feed because um, you can then just come down put that on there if you choose view to fit you'll then get to see what it looks like once you've added all your elements your designs your texts so you might want to put in there you know quote boxes and you'll want to align those up and you can put your text in there. It looks small on the screen here, but obviously, as I say, that's at 13%. If you go to 100%, you can then choose to design 
better or even at 75 or 50 percent it shows you what you're doing on the screen now what i've not done and it's probably be better if i come back to my original one what i've not done is i've not put in there the margin what you can also do do is show margins and you can bring in and bring in your guidelines to show where the margins are as well you can choose to show margins but that then makes these other lines not look correct so all you do to get rid of the guidelines you drag them off to the side oops and you can drag them off to the side there and then we just come back to elements and we do exactly the same thing again you put in your box you choose alt or command c command v or control c control v on a windows machine in order to copy and paste and that allows you to then resize those so you can then bring your light guidelines in and as I say hover over the ruler area there and back down here so I've chosen those highlighted all those and now that gives me oops let me highlight those that gives me a three by three or a nine grid inside a Facebook post so that's really ideal if you're kind of thinking about wanting to use the the grids elements you could come in and there is lots of different grids that you can choose from let's choose um, this three by three so say I wanted to choose that three by three there is a more populated one down there but I could just put that in there and that's going to align that up correctly and again if I just come down choose alt that's going to then bring that down and I can then just put in all the photographs that I want to double click to align them you'll see there even when you're just coming up to align that inside the grid it does give you a the rule of thirds grid if you like or the three by three um, when you're putting them in the grid there and you can just choose to put in there whichever images you want these aren't all there to match each other at the moment I'm just put, putting in random images there we go um, but that's that's how you can align your images your text your elements it's a really great way to be able to align things correctly and also kind of see where where you want to put things now I'm using this on a Facebook post and that that's fine you're gonna find this probably more useful or more helpful on bigger projects kind of like like posters or whether you're designing a magazine cover or the inside of a magazine or a booklet or anything else like that and that got me thinking how many different rulers or guides can you create so i went on amazon and i found this book making and breaking the grid now in here there are an absolute ton of different design grids that you can and can't use and i'm going to put a link to this book down below as well if you wanted to check that out it's on amazon Ooh, excuse me it's on amazon there is an affiliate link all the links that i mention i will put those down in the description below make sure you check those out 45 day free trial of canva there's the book and any other tutorials that i think 
go well with learning this i'll put those down in there be below as well there's one that's on learning how to do a um something in instagram i can't remember what it's called off the top of my head but i'll put a link down there below to that and until next time bye for now